Okay, so today we are performing HB estimation by Charlie's method. So the apparatus required are Charlie's comparator, HB pipette, then a HB micro pipette, then we need n by 10 HCL. So we have we have a stock n by 10 HCL and we also taken n by 10 HCL in this amber chamber, amber bottle, and uh, we need distilled water. So this is the apparatus for HB estimation. And what we are going to do is rather than uh, uh, encouraging mouth pipetting, we are using micro pipette uh, already standardized with uh, already calibrated with 20 microliters. Okay, so this is 20 microliter micro pipette, and uh, I have another pipette for uh, drawing HCL, M by 10 HCL. So these are the apparatus, and we will do the test now. So what is the first thing? We need to take N by 10 HCL up to the two mark in the HB tube. So in the bottom you can see two mark. So, with the help of a pipette, take n by 10 HCL. So, I am using large pipette here, not calibrated. So, I will add. I will add more. Uh, there is a thumb rule of do, uh, pipetting. The, you know, the test tube should be the uh, height of your eyes. That is one thumb rule for uh, adding. Okay. Uh, yeah. So now this is up to second mark. You can see this is up to second mark. Okay. So I have taken n by 10 HCL. Then what is the next step? We need to add blood. 20 microliters of blood. So I am taking an EDTA blood freshly collected. Okay. All right. So in this freshly collected EDTA blood. We are taking 20 microliters with a calibrated pipette. So I have taken 20 microliters and we will add this into the HB tube. Yeah, so I added 20 microliters. I know it's on the top. Now we need to mix it. So what I will do is I will use a dilute uh, distilled water for mixing purpose. So first I will add roughly some amount of water to dilute it. So first I am going to dilute it. See now it is uh, gradually turning into brown color because it is converting to acid hematin. Then I need to mix it. So mix this sample with the help of stirrer. So it should be evenly, it should be mixed, okay? So blood has been hemolyzed now and it is uh, Converting to brown. Yesterday we got issues with reagent, but today it's converted to brown. Okay, so there is a brownish tint now. So there is a uh, some small RBC sediment in the bottom. The reason is this is uh, uh, we need to take a peripheral prick. Okay, peripheral blood sample will be ideal sample rather than EDTA because EDTA might got uh, some chelated deposits in the bottom. Anyway, so now you can see it's a deep brown colored complex, right? Now what we need to do? This need to be diluted by comparing it with the standard comparator. So keep this in a standard comparator and you will start adding distilled water. So drop by drop you need to add the distilled water. So I added few drops of distilled water and I am going to mix it. Uh, I know I am not able to see it, but uh, let me. color of a test tube has been matched with the comparator okay so after matching you will remove the tube and you will see the upper uh, reading okay uh, see upper reading is this one what is the upper reading now 16 right so what is the normal value of hemoglobin 12 to 16 so this is the normal okay so if we done uh, you know somewhat properly then it will be around 14 that will be proper average value so this is how we will perform the HB test, okay, by Charlie's method. Is it clear? Yes. 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 Thank you very much. Yeah.